Can you draw? Because uh, I can't. I always wanted to be one of those kids that could just sit down and draw something awesome. I would even watch those TV shows that would try to teach you to draw. You remember Secret City? It was on PBS. It was hosted by Commander Mark. This guy was like all of the 1980s all wrapped up in one character. But he could only draw two things. He could draw a box. He could draw a cylinder. That was it. You tune in and you're like, hey, Commander Mark, what are we drawing today? Is it a box or a cylinder? Ooh, it's a season finale. We're going to draw a cylinder on a box. That was it. Still, he was better than that limey little weasel Simon. Well, you know my name is Simon, and the things I draw come true. Oh, my gosh. Really, Simon? Really? The things you draw come true? How about drawing yourself some better art supplies than a stupid piece of chalk? How about drawing yourself some money so your parents can hire a nanny to watch your truant behind? <laughs> How about drawing yourself off of PBS? <laughs> Or draw yourself living in the United States of America, USA, USA. What about Bob Ross? Again, PBS. Bob would delight us each week by drawing his happy little trees. I mean, come on. We, we all know what he really meant by that. <laughs> I, think, I think he bit a raccoon or something weird on his show. <laughs> Regardless, or irregardless for our Canadian friends, the lesson here is to never trust PBS. Now, Vivian Cooper, on the other hand, is amazing at drawing. We had her as a guest on the What the Farm podcast with my co-host, Leslie Kelly, which you can find at sharkfarmer.com. She does all this freehand. It's fantastic. You can go to her website and find more drawings. What in the Samuel Clemens is going on here? <laughs> Why are these cows attempting to eat this cat? Why is this cat not running away? In fact, this cat acts like it could care less. Here's the thing about farm cats. They are there to do a job, which is catch mice. It's what they like to do, and it helps the farm too. But to keep the rodent population in check, you have to provide an environment where a cat wants to stay. Let's say a cat eats 90% of the mice. Well, to survive, they'll simply move on. So the farmer will feed them as an incentive to stick around. But here's the rub. You can't feed them too much, or else they lose all ambitious to go out and go hunt. <laughs> if the cat is full all the time, they just hang out in the basement and play Grand Theft Auto. Yes, farmers appreciate, maybe even love our farm cats but we also want them to shine. So a safe environment is provided, but an environment that isn't rent free. If farm cats spent their lives being spoiled, well, they'd just end up living in their mom's basement the entire time. This week's machinery clip of the week is presented by John Deere. So this story took place last Easter Sunday. The farmer unhooked the old Oliver from the disc on the high side of the pond but he forgot one important thing, to set the brake. <laughs> when he was walking away, he heard something. He looked back, and he saw that it was rolling into the pond. He posted on Facebook that he was in need of a scuba diver, and unbelievably, he found one. He then called a neighbor and asked him to bring his International 275 tractor over to pull it out. I'll say, I wonder why he needed a scuba diver. I mean, this happened in my hometown of Bradford. We just call Turtle. Turtle's one of those guys that every small town has, kind of guy that would do anything for 10 bucks. <laughs> and, and hell, his name is Turtle. It's not like he's gonna sink. I bet you Catfish Cooley could have done this. No scuba tank at all. Maybe this guy just wanted a new tractor. Wanted a good tractor, like a John Deere. <laughs> this is literally the beginning of every law and order. You know, bum, 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 bum. <laughs> pulling it out, someone's in the seat, and we got a mystery to solve. <laughs> I'm sure somehow this is a car driver's fault. OK. 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 For people wondering, this is a snake coming out of the wool of a sheep. 
I'll let that sink in for a second. I showed this to my wife and she's all like, Ew! Oh! You think, you think we can get that for the show? <laughs> this video is from Sean Tyson from the once great state of Illinois. He said I got cold the night before and the snake was looking for a warm place. <laughs> this is, ah, this one just, this one just gets to me. It's like something, something's crawling on you right now. <laughs> This was a TikTok, and I, I read all the comments on TikTok. Shockingly, there were no good jokes in the comment section because people on TikTok use music instead of coming up with good content. <laughs> it's amazing how many people thought this was a poisonous snake. One guy, one guy, even said it was an anaconda. One guy is kind of overcompensating. <laughs> Today's farm equipment is unbelievable. Seriously, the seat is like a modern miracle. Climate controlled cabs, Bluetooth or XM radio. Heck, most even have a little refrigerator. These things even drive themselves. That's right. We've had auto steer tractors for 20 years now. That being said, farmers still like to see old equipment work. It's like you really appreciate what you have today and you admire how our ancestors had to work with what they had which in their day were modern miracles of their own. Could you imagine this pull behind harvester in a field next to a horse drawn harvester? Look at this early version of a self propelled combine. Again, they must have been thinking how amazing it was that one person could harvest all those acres by themselves in one day. These things truly were modern marvels. I mean, today's machines are vastly improved in efficiencies, but the concepts are basically the same. Thanks for spending some time with us here on Shark Farmer TV. For more stories about people in agriculture, catch my shows on Rural Radio Channel 147 Sirius XM. There's more in-depth discussions on my podcast, and of course, you can check out previous episodes of this show on my YouTube channel. Find out more at sharkfarmer.com.